It is John's birthday today, and I want to make him a pie that I make him every year. His mama made it for him when he was little, and it's one of the easiest pies ever to make. It is a lemon ice box pie, and it has no eggs in it, and it's no cook, so it's just simple, simple. So I, his, I have his mama to thank for him loving this pie as a child, and this is this can be his birthday. So I'm going to thank her. Thank you, Linda. Normally when I make this pie, I end up using two pie crusts, just store-bought graham cracker pie crust, because it makes such a large amount of it. So I'm going to try to cut it down in half today so we can make one pie, um, because many of y'all have wanted to know, how can I just make one of those? So we're going to try that today. We sure are. Let me get mine open. Easy, easy. All right, first thing I want to do, I've got some cream cheese, and I got it out this morning, so it's very softened for me already, okay, at room temp. And normally I use the whole block, but today I'm going to use half of this block, okay? And this is something I've added through the years. She just used, John's mother used sweetened condensed milk, Cool Whip, and some um, lemonade concentrate. But I added the cream cheese because it helps it set up a little more for me. And I love cream cheese, and John loves cream cheese, so I've added that through the years. Probably why it makes double, right? But we're going to put half. So four ounces of softened cream cheese going in. And I put this in first because you don't use a mixer or you'll collapse that Cool Whip. So I'm just going to start with the whisk. And I'm going to try to... Fluff this around and smooth it out. Just like that. Doesn't take much if you've got it softened, guys. And then in my double pie recipe, I use this whole um, can of sweet condensed milk. And I don't remember how many ounces it was. Let me look, guys. 14 ounces. So I'm going to use about half, okay? And I will put the half recipe to make one pie, I will put that in the description box on YouTube. So if you want the written recipe, just go to YouTube and look in the description box, okay? Let me not talk so I won't put more than half. There we are. That'll be for our next pie. <laughs> That's a little spoiler alert, right? Okay, and I'm going to mix this in good and this will help um, break up that cream cheese where it won't be quite so thick so we can fold in our Cool Whip. All right, and into this, I'm going to use this. This was frozen, and I let it thaw in the refrigerator. Um, I normally use half the can or a little over half the can for two pies. So this is a 12-ounce can. So I'm going to start with about four ounces and see if that's lemony enough. Does that make sense to y'all? There we go. That's not limiting enough, I'll add more, okay? That's to your taste if you, if you ask me, it's just to your taste. Um, especially adding that cream cheese, I need a little more to make it limiting. All right, eight ounces of this whipped topping. And this is where you cannot get too vigorous in here and you don't want to use an electric mixer because this is just an optical illusion <laughs> it's just air fluffed into this so you do not want to uh just get too rough with it because it will collapse on you and the magic will fall away so right now we've got to keep the magic up the cool whip magic and be real gentle with it okay and I'm using my whisk, but I'm also just folding, so I'm going under and up like that. And I'm going to do this kind of slowly. And there's something else it will do. I don't know if it's a, a sugar chemical reaction, but you'll be going along and it seems like it's runny. And then all of a sudden it almost firms for you. And I feel like that's what it is, is a chemical reaction. But I'm being very gentle with our Cool Whip. I'm also making John, because this is so easy, I've got him chicken and dumplings going on the stove and I'm making some purple hull peas to go with that and some cornbread. So 
So he is going to be right full for his birthday, isn't he? There it did, just magically. It just firmed up all of a sudden, like the sugars and the lemon, everything, or the Cool Whip, it just has this little reaction all of a sudden, and it becomes firm. Let me show y'all. Y'all see that? All right, I think this is gonna be just the right amount for our little crust, too. how long this pie's been around. I know it's been around since 1972, like John. Because <laughs> his mama always made him this for his birthday. And there again, she made it for what? 19, 20 years. And um, I've been making it for more years than that now. So I took mama's torch and I've been keeping it going. That is the perfect amount, guys. Just like this. We have pie, and you see how it's nice and firm? I'm actually gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it firm for the afternoon, and it'll be ready for supper, and we're gonna make another one. I've got my front door open because it's been raining all day today, and I'm so very thankful for that. And I just want to send hope out to all of you that's been in a drought. We have two where I think we're officially out of it, and I'm so thankful. So I just want you to know, if you're dying of thirst, okay, we have been too, and we are getting rain. So there is hope. There is hope. Yes, there is, and I'm so very thankful. And so I thought if you don't have it yet, I'm just going to share it with you. It's nice and rainy outside. That's all I can do. I can pray and I can share the rain with y'all, right? Um, at least over the TB, correct? Okay, y'all, the second one we're going to make. This is in tradition of one year. I ran to the store. My boys were still little. And when I was a young mama, I was last minute everything. You know, you're running around, you don't know your name half the time. And that was my four ounces of soft and cream cheese. And I ran in the store real quick to grab this pie up. I had been working all day at the vet's office, picked the boys up from two different schools, ran to the grocery store, had to go home and cook, you know. <laughs> you know, that's a typical day of a young mom. But anyway, um, when I got in the grocery store, they did not have that yellow uh, lemonade concentrate. And there I stood, and all they had was the pink lemonade. And I said, well, John's getting the pink pie for his birthday. <laughs> And you know what? He ate that pink pie, and he was grateful for it, and it tasted good, too. So, in tradition of that, we're going to make a pink lemonade pie. Same thing. It's a 12-ounce can, and I'm going to do about four. I think that's close to five ounces. But it's pretty and pink, pretty and pink. So let me stir that in. We need our other half can of this sweetened condensed milk. That yummy goodness, right? This is good in your coffee too, isn't it? It is. I recently, just last year, my husband John started drinking his coffee black when he worked on a oil rig because they didn't have sugar and creamer. You know, they were lucky to get coffee. And our son Blake started that too just trying to cut back on sugars and so I thought well it challenged me so I had drank sugar in my coffee and creamer for I'm not even gonna say how many years and uh, I did it too my son told me mommy if you'll try it for two weeks you'll be able to do it and I did and that was sometime last year and I'm still drinking black coffee and I'm thankful that's a big cut back yes it is all right I want to just smooth this out Smooth it out. It's got a little kind of a pink tint. I'm going to add a little more just so we'll be able to see it's pink. Yes. And in goes our magic Cool Whip. There we go. So John's going to have a lot of pies to eat, isn't he? He'll do it, though. He won't let me throw them away, either. You do keep this in the refrigerator. You don't have to keep it in the freezer. 
Um, it stays nice and firm in the refrigerator. It's starting to do that thing where it started off running and now it's just coming together. I'd love that. Yes, I do. There we have it. Do you know there really are pink lemons in this world? Isn't that pretty cool? I thought so too. I did, I did. We've got our little pie crust. Put this in here. I know one thing, y'all, that front door open, it's still summertime. Even though it's raining, it's hot. Might have to go close it for the next pie. It's not hot, but it's humid. <laughs> there are pink lemons in this world, but I could not find a pink lemon to slice and decorate the top of this pie with. I might have to dip my lemon slice down in that pink lemonade and turn it pink. What y'all think? What y'all think? I think that'll work too. Yes, I do. This is pink lemonade. Pie. Let me come show y'all. I always play with it for a minute, trying to make it pretty on top. There it is. Here's our pink one, guys. We put it in the refrigerator and I'll be right back. Let's see here, y'all. Take me a piece of my yellow lemon. And I am going to try to soak it down in this pink lemonade concentrate. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens together. And all of these you can mix together and make one big fruity punch or lemonade, whatever you want to do. Now we are going to make a limeade one. Why not, right? And you know, thinking about this, you could do an orange juice one. You could do pineapple juice. You could do any kind of juices. You could even get some of those things like to make the mixed drinks with like the pina colada and the margarita. And you could make this and be a pina colada pie and a margarita pie. Just the sky's the limit, isn't it? It sure is. All right, guys, that was my four ounces of cream cheese. I think y'all have it, huh? And we're gonna do half of this can of sweetened condensed milk. Just like that, yep, yeah, that's just about half, just about perfect. I gotta get these pies in the refrigerator. I gotta finish up these dumplings and make some cornbread. Yes, I do. All right. I've got this up higher so we can be together right here. And so it's got me stirring like this because I can't really get above it and stir. <laughs> it's not normally how I stir. All right, y'all. Now we're gonna need about anywhere from four to six ounces of your concentrated juice. Ours is limeade this time. Yum, so we're gonna have green, pink, and yellow pie. Yum. Stir that in. And our last thing, eight ounces of our Cool Whip. There we have it. John's mama just sent his nephew over here to bring John his birthday present from her. <laughs> She's in her 70s and she still thinks of her baby boy, doesn't she? That's what we mamas do. Yes, we do. <laughs> we live for them. All right, let's see here, guys. Yum. Hey, baby, you want to come in here and taste? You want to come taste your limeade pie? I never made you the limeade. Do you remember the year I had to make you the pink pie? Because I yes. couldn't. Yes, yes. <laughs> You liked it just the same, Absolutely. Too. Would you grab you a spoon, darling? Oh, yeah. I think I've dirtied all the mine up over here. Taste the limeade. See if it's limeady enough. Is that a word, limeady? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Mmm. 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 Mm. That's good. Mmm. That's good. That is good. I needed to put a little drop of food coloring in here to tell it, each color. Do you want me to, to get you a bite? No, I tasted a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. But mm. y'all can do that. Mm. So y'all can make a green, pink, 
because mm. they're just kind of a faded color. It's no matter, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I've got some, <laughs> I got some lemons soaking in the pink lime. Are you trying to make me some pink lemons? <laughs> some fake pink lemons. Fake pink lemons? Yeah, Renee told me there's real pink lemons out in the world. But we don't have those in our stores. No, we don't. And y'all, if you want to do that double pie recipe like I normally do, where I use the whole sweetened condensed milk can, and I use the... Is that open door bothering you, John it's Mary? Hot. <laughs> is it hot? It is hot. It's hot. Um, you can. You can use that whole can of sweet condensed milk. Use you a 16-ounce container of the whipped topping, or Cool Whip. And I use six maybe eight ounces of the juice concentrate, um, just to your taste. And then you'll use eight ounces of your cream cheese. And that will make two pies or what you can do if you're taking it to any kind of function. You can't buy a store bought, but you can make you a nine by 13 pan graham cracker crust in there. And then you can have you a big, a big pie like that. Wouldn't it be nice if they sold the 9 by 13 size graham cracker crust in, in the stores? I think so too. Yes, I do. Okay, y'all, this is the lime one. Let me get my lime. Y'all don't mind. And a clean knife. And let's make some pretty little slices on the lime and decorate our pie with it. Let's see. I sliced it in a round circle. And then I'm going to slice it in half. Almost in half, not all the way, where it's still together at the top, and then I can curl it. Come up there. Like that, and then I'm going to twist it like that, so it makes a little twist. Right there on top. Isn't that pretty? Now we know that's the line, right? Okay, y'all. Y'all see how easy we made all those pies? I know. Here they are. Yeah. This pink one here in the back by me, that little lemon, he got a little pink down in that lemonade and I actually swirled some of that concentrate on top a little bit just to show it's the pink one. But anyway, guys, y'all can make these. You see, you can't get any simpler than this, but they are delicious and nice and cool. Keep them in the refrigerator. And when you make something this fast, now i got time to do John's dumplings, right? And I've made the dumplings with y'all before and the cornbread and the purple whole peas. But I'll try to link the dumpling video in here just in case you hadn't seen it. I'll see y'all next time.